Hey guys, welcome to your channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to make a party rental website on Wix. So as you can see right here, I am on my web browser and I'm currently on Wix Studio. So you just have to use the search bar at the top once you open your web browser and then search for Wix Studio. Okay, and then make sure to log into your account. And as you can see right here, these are all my websites. So all you have to do now is to simply click on the create new site option at the top right and then select the use Wix editor. Okay, so this one below the studio plan canvas. So you just have to click on it and another tab will open now right here you can bring your ideas to life with ai so get started faster with the help of ai so tell us about yourself and get personalized tools images and text for your site so right here you can start with a chat or set up without a chat so for this video i'm going to show you how you can set up without a chat okay so let me just click on this one okay so now you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and right here you just have to search for if what type of website you want to create so since this is a party rental company or party rental website so i'm just going to um, click on the relevant one so i think this one would do so after that you just have to click on continue okay so now you just have to wait while they are preparing your dashboard so it will only takes a few seconds okay and then right here you'd be directed to your dashboard so here you're gonna start setting up our store so we have to give our store a name so you can create a new one or use a name you already have okay so maybe i am going to um use this name okay so let me just type it out party with us okay next is just have to simply click on continue and by the way you can skip this part if you want to and right here they already have an online store so if you don't have so you just have to simply click on the no i'm just starting out option and then click on continue they're right here what kind of products are you selling so you just have to select anything you're selling now or plan to sell in the future so for this one of course i am going to select services so online and in-person courses, classes, and appointments. So right here, you just have to simply click on continue after that. And then right here, how are you offering your products? So we have online store, my mobile app, in-person, marketplaces, and social media. So I'm going to select this two at the top. After that, just click on continue. Okay, now that you're all set, head over to your dashboard to finish setting up your site. So continue to your dashboard. So just wait for a couple of seconds and then it'd be redirected to your dashboard okay so for this video there are so many things that we have to set up first but i would like to highlight on how you can set up your payment methods okay so go ahead and click on setup right here we can add our first product set up shipping and delivery design your website get found on customers in google or discover wix enterprise so let us focus on setting up our payment methods so you just have to simply click on setup payments and it'd be directed to this page and take note that the availability of the payment options or payment methods will depend on your location so as you can see my current location is in the philippines so i only have this um options but when i click on the seamer payment options at the left side of this um section so we have here different options so let me just go back and then to change your locations you just have to simply click on this option at the top right and then here you just have to search by country okay so for example where is your business base so i'm going to select united states so you just have to use the search bar and then type out the name of the country so this one right here now click on choose okay so after that as you can see we have now this um payment option so connect the wix payment options or other third party providers your customers can pay so as you can see right here we're going to accept credit or debit cards with wix so you just have to simply click on connect so this one at the right side they right here so to make sure we connect the right provider review the restricted list and answer the questions below okay so you just have to read this important notes right here and then once you're done you just have to go here at the bottom so do you sell any of the prohibited products or service so you just have to simply click on no or yes and then accept and continue 
Okay, so you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and they're right here. So the Wix payments gives your customers the ability to pay online and in person. So you just have to select how customers can pay. So we have credit and debit cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Afterpay, Affirm, Klarna, tap to pay on mobile, or Wix Point on off sale. Okay, so you also have the ability to disable or enable a specific um, payment option. So you just have to click on the switch and then once you're done you just have to simply click on continue this one at the bottom right side of your screen okay and of course you have to remember to start accepting online payments today so we have to upgrade to a premium plan so to do that you just have to simply click on the upgrade button to upgrade your site with a business and e-commerce premium plan to start accepting payments with credit card debit cards and google pay so once you're done setting up your payment options or payment methods, let us now proceed and create our rental website on Wix. So you just have to simply click on the catalog option and then go to the booking channels and click on booking integrations. So right here, you just have to publish your site to get a book online via booking integrations. So you just have to simply click on the go to editor option. Okay, so we have to publish our site first to get book online via booking integration. So click on go to editor, then just wait for a couple of seconds and then right here, how would you like to design your website? So we can generate a design using AI or we can also customize a template. So browse thousands of designs, then pick one to customize. So I'll be um, choosing this one. So you just click on the um, button and then right here at the top right, we have the ability to search for a specific template that is related to our website. So since our website is about a party rental, so we just have to search for it at the top right. And then when you scroll down, you'll be able to see here different templates. And if you're going to find here your template, you also have the ability to proceed to the next pages of this um, section. And then you'll be able to see more templates. So I think this one is good. So. When you find the right template for your website, you can view it first or simply click on edit. Okay, so now that we are on the website, so right here at the left side, we can add elements, add sections, pages, and menu. We have the side design section, add apps, my business, media, and CMS. Okay, so right here, let me just um, zoom it into 100%. Okay. So now we can start customizing this template. So before we can add our services, I would want to uh, show you on how we can customize some of the templates right here. So, so for example, I would like to change the background and the text of this page. So all we have to do is to simply click on that specific element. Then you can start editing or removing that element from your website. Okay, so let me just start with the background. So you just have to click on it and then click on change background. And then you can um, choose color, image, or video. So for this one, I'm going to select image. And after that, we can now upload our own media. So you just have to click on this button right here or use media from Wix. So I'm going to use media from Wix and using the search bar, I am going to search for a relevant image that I can use for the background. So for example, party bookings. So if your um, website is about, you know, kids party or private party, so you just have to use the relevant image. Okay, so I think I need this background. So you just have to simply click on change background. Okay, so after that, let us now change the text right here. So I just have to simply highlight all of the text and then you can change the font size. Okay, and then if you would like to change the text, you just have to simply um, type out your own text. Okay, and then after that, let us now proceed right here. So we have this different sections. So if you think that some of the sections are not relevant for your website, so you have the ability to remove those sections. Okay, so let us now proceed to the top left and then proceed to the pages. So right here, let us proceed to the book online option okay so let us proceed to the book online page and then right here just have to simply click on the page and click on manage services 
Okay, so this urges um, example templates for your services. So let us now click on the page and then just click on manage services. So here we are going to add a new service. So we can go and edit the service below or start adding one from scratch. So if you cannot find right here the relevant service for your website, we can click on the start from scratch option if you want to. Okay, so right here, I'm going to use this one. So party planning company. So I am going to use the private party um, service. Okay, so you just have to click on it or simply click on the edit option. Okay, so just wait for a couple of seconds. And then right here, as you can see, you can now customize this service. Mm -hmm. Then right here, we can change the name. So I'm going to leave this name as it is and then right here we can add a tagline then for the description this is optional as well but we can use ai to generate our description so you just have to click on create text okay and then right here we have different options so you just have to use the perfect one so i'm going to use this one right here so right here we can now add a duration so how long would be the service okay so for example 12 hours 8 hours or 12 hours okay and then right here for the buffer time we can add 15 minutes so add some time after each sessions to create short breaks okay so after that let us proceed to the locations okay then right here we have the ability to edit the location but for now i'm just going to leave this one so you just have to go back here and then click on edit Okay, and then right here for the staff and availability, you just have to select the staff members who provide the service right here. So I'm going to select all staff. Mm -hmm. And then right here, when we scroll down, we can manage resources for our services. And of course, before we forgot, we should um, customize the price as well. Okay, so let me just go back to the price section. Okay, so here it is the price and payments. So we just have to set a price for our clients so you can choose how client can pay for the service so we have the per session we have a plan or per session or with a plan so right here for the price type we have fixed price and then the amount for example 10,000 pesos and right here for the payment preferences so we have entire amount online entire amount in person entire amount either online or in person and online deposit and the rest in person so i'm going to select the entire amount online then after that we can add here a cover image okay and then service gallery so we just have to click on the plus icon right here for the booking preferences so we have here the booking policy so we can select what policy you want to connect to the service okay so you can add a new policy as well then right here make sure to toggle switch on for the online bookings to give your clients the ability to book on your site then for the booking form, we are going to edit this form later on. And for the booking request, we can set this to automatically accept all bookings when available or manually approve or decline booking requests. So I'm going to select this one. And then after that, you can now save this. So you have the option at the top right or at the bottom right. So before that, let me just edit the form first. So you just have to simply click on it and then click on save and continue okay so now that you're done so let us now um edit our booking form so clients fill out this form and bookings on your site so you can customize it to collect the exact info you need you can also click on this one tips for creating a booking form and then right here for the form page and title subtitle we can add here our info and then here for the form fields so below are the fields on your form you can edit duplicate or delete fields and add your own so we have here the name section email section phone number number of participants address and then we can also add here our message okay and then we can also add a custom field if you want more so after that you just have to simply click on save form okay then just wait for a couple of seconds and now your booking has been saved so you can preview it on your site so as you can see right here this is an overview okay so now let us go back to our website and click on preview okay so when someone visit our website okay so when they click on the three horizontal lines right here at the top left and then 
clicked on the book online page. Okay, so this is our homepage right here. So they're just going to click on the three horizontal lines and then click on book online. Okay, and then they'd be able to see here our service or our services. Okay, so all they have to do is to click on book now and they'd be directed to this page so they're just going to check out the availability and book the date and time that works for them so they're just going to select a date and time and then the availability next is the service details right here so they're just going to click on next and once then they'd be able to fill out the form okay so once they provided all of the details in the form they'd be able to get their schedule once it is available so remember that there are so many templates that you can use for your party rental website okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye